These are the benches and I'd like to make sure they're secure. This piece here will be screwed in like that, but also I want to put a piece on each side. And I just so happen to have 28 pieces of plywood scrap. These are left over from cutting out the wooden window frames for all of the port lights that go in the front. They came from these. So basically I'm just gonna put a piece of Lexan in there and then the frame in, and then I'll have something pressing up against the frame. This is actually a pretty big day. I'm going to start disassembling the interior. So I'll take each of these pieces out and then I'll lay them down on the plywood. I'll cut out the shape of the lower section and then attach it with some screws. That'll give these pieces some more strength, hold them together better. I might even do it on both sides. Pretty much no matter how I place these, I can get four of them on one sheet if I want a continuous piece to go all the way to the top. Here, I don't care if it stops right there because I want to connect the two pieces together with one solid piece of plywood. So you can see here's these two pieces. I want to connect them with one piece. It'd be great to have a whole piece go all the way across, but that would consume a lot of plywood, create a lot of waste. And that's how it will fit on the piece. Still some sanding and finishing to do, but this gives you the idea of how I'm fastening all those pieces together into one. I've already put some linseed oil on the inside of here and the inside of here. Next, I just drill some holes through on each end and so I can place it where I want it. I've already put the screws in there. And now I just drill through where I want the next screws to go. I've already done it here. And there's maybe 10 or more screws per frame. And it's going really fast. Very satisfying work. Four sanding discs later and two days worth of sanding. Those are done, those are done, those are done. These are sanded. The advantages of leaving the stern open are obvious, but here's one you might not have thought of. See all this debris? Half an hour and three passes later, not bad. The rest is for the vacuum. Putting more linseed oil on the wood. This is what the construction is like of a typical piece. These are the Douglas fir 2x4s. And then on the other side, that's how the plywood is attached. These pieces here are where a 2x4 is going to get inserted and then I'll screw it in when it's time for that. The comparison of what the oiled wood looks like compared to the raw. Linseed oil is really easy to work with. I had some drips running down this piece and I just let them drip because nothing happens. It just gets absorbed somehow. It didn't reach the bottom and you can't see it on the camera nor could you see it if you were here. So here's an example of something running, but you won't be able to see that after it's absorbed into the wood. The point being that the oil can be applied really thick. Here are all of the wood frames covered in linseed oil. So I could have made each frame purely out of plywood and it would be much stronger laterally, but then I wouldn't have anything to drill screws into. The plywood just doesn't work well that way. That's why I made it a combination of plywood and 2x4s. 
So it seems that the general perception is that these are wooden frames in a steel sailboat. And I call them frames also, but I see them as furring strips that might as well provide more structure to the boat and make it just a little bit stronger. My goal with everything I put in the boat is to use it to make the boat stronger, including this sink. I'll make it part of the structure somehow. Got this for free from Craigslist. It's pretty big, but I'll make it work. And now for my pride and joy. I got this off Craigslist for a thousand bucks. I don't know if it runs. I don't know if it's in great condition or not. I'll have to find out. It's a Volvo Penta MD2B. Two cylinders, diesel, super simple engine. The story I was told was that it was going to be used in a boat somebody was building. They spent 10 or 15 years building the boat and didn't live long enough to complete it. And then it was never used. It's supposedly got very low hours on it. Now that might just be a story. But I'm going to find out and I'll let you know. Got this instrument panel with the engine. I don't know if it works yet. It's a bunch of old Stuart Warner gauges, which is pretty cool. They look all beat up right now, but I've had some experience with restoring them. These instruments looked very similar. This is an anchor I bought off Craigslist. It was $75. It's a Delta Fast Set. It's a 16 kilogram anchor, 35 pound distributors. The Lumar Delta Fast Set anchor is good. The 35 pound anchor is good for a boat that's a sailboat, 44 to 52 feet. My boat's only going to be 32 feet at most. I could easily cut metal for an anchor shape it, weld it, wouldn't even have to bend it, I would just cut the pieces and put it together myself for less than $75 but not that much less and it would not be galvanized. I would have to figure out some process of doing that and what I found on the internet didn't sound like it was easy so I thought I would just stick to a professionally made anchor since it was so low cost.